Hey, welcome. Just another little video that I want to tell you just a little bit more about the Great Pyrenees. This is my dog, Groot. Every once in a while, I make a little video of him, and he's a big, big, these are big, great uh, Pyrenean mountain dogs, and or better known as the Great Pyrenees. I want to give just a little piece of advice today. The main reason why I'm making this video is because uh, in case you're wanting to purchase a dog like this, here in the south, midwestern part of the United States, a lot of people do have these as livestock, guard, livestock guardian dogs. We do not have livestock, but yet we do have great, uh, two Great Pyrenees. And usually what they do is they will look at us as our livestock. In other words, they are very protective of their family. And I just wanted to share this with you because there's something that's come up this week that uh, I thought, well, I want to add this on a little video so people will know. You're seeing my videos of Groot that I make every once in a while. And uh, and so I wanted you to see this one little part about him here. Um, because a lot of times people look at a dog and they'll think, oh, that dog's wonderful. We got to have one. They are wonderful. But I do always want to tell one of the little drawbacks before you get one and don't like it and think, we don't want this dog. I don't want to see that. Great Pyrenees are great dogs. They're wonderful family dogs, and they will really attach to the family. Um, but one thing I do want to say is, if you're getting one, consider this. One of their major, I guess you'd say drawbacks, it's, it's considered, a, it might be considered a drawback, but at the same time, it's what they're bred to do. One of their major drawbacks is the barking, okay? They do bark, and they bark a lot. And, uh... When I say a lot, I mean a lot. And a lot of times, the majority is at nighttime. Now, uh, I've got two, Groot, and then I've got another one, Pookie, that's around here somewhere. Uh, you don't even hear them barking. But probably at 10 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock in the morning, they're going to be outside barking because they're going to have a scent. They're going to have a smell. They're going to have a, a taste of something. Um, for example, may, they might be able to smell a, a, a coyote or a wolf or you know, bobcats or anything like that. And they're pretty much on guard and protective of your property over things like that. If anything is moving around, if a car comes in, you know, we have had a FedEx delivery that comes up this drive right here and they will stop way back down there. We had an UPS man come in the other day and he stopped way down there and turned around in my yard and it had just rained and he actually got hung up in my yard because he didn't want to come up close to the house because he seen my dogs up here. So he thought, well, I'm just going to stop way back down here and they can come outside and come and get it. So these are wonderful dogs to let you know that a vehicle or someone or something is moving around outside. But as I said, they do bark and they bark a lot. So if you're living in the city, this might not be the best dog, but uh, if you're living in the country or you have livestock and you can raise them with those livestock or or uh, ducks or chickens you know they are a wonderful wonderful dog to protect your things and as i said they'll they'll think of you your family as their livestock if they if you have no livestock and they'll be very protective but they're wonderful wonderful dogs so i just wanted to tell you that because as i said i'd hate to see one somebody purchase one or somebody buy one or get one at a shelter and think oh boy you know this is a wonderful pretty big fluffy dog they are but I don't want to see one, you know, passed around and thinking, oh, well, we don't want this dog now. I'd like to see them getting a good home. So I just want you to know that they do, that they do bark, and that, but that's a deterrent uh, at night when they can scent. They have the scent of those things off back out in the woods. You know, we've got woods all around. You know, they can get the scent of that, and they let things know, hey, we're here, so don't come this way. And I do want to show you this little clip here. If you can see this, the sun's out, so I'm hoping you can see this here. This is his little pan. We keep a little pan and a little toy. We actually have him a couple toys, and so we keep them out here in the yard and uh, for him to play with. Now, usually, he'll have them here, there, and everywhere. But today, when we pulled in the drive, they was up here in the drive where you're seeing them now, side by side. But what he likes to do is he likes to play ball with this. So I'm going to show you a little clip here in just a minute of him playing with this in the yard where he's got the pan and he'll keep playing with his little blue ball till he puts it inside the pan. So I hope you enjoy that clip. Like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, we're Christian oriented on this channel, but we do work in little side videos like this. We have uh, two great Pyrenees and we have a little Shih Tzu 
and we like to work them in periodically. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and remember, a Great Pyrenees is a wonderful dog, but, you know, just remember that they do bark a lot, so take that into account. If you've got somebody who lives real close to you as a neighbor, you might want to check with them first, but these are wonderful, wonderful dogs, but I just wanted to say, because right now, we're in the time of year that the deer are starting moving around a whole lot down here, and guess what? These dogs have been barking a lot at nighttime. So that's what I thought. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and make another video on this. So people will think, you know, Groot, Pookie, they're wonderful dogs, but boy, they do bark a lot. So, and again, that's their job. That's what they, that's what they're bred to do. And that's fine because that's what I want them to do. If something's going on out here, I want to know it and they let me know. So remember, uh, just like and subscribe to this channel and you'll get videos like this every once in a while, as well as uh, biblical teaching and singing and, and just a little family channel that we've got here. Thanks again. God loves you. God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next video.